I'm going to work through the rest of the copy on this first page. I'm going to double left click on the text frame here to go into type editing mode. I'll remove the placeholder text and then the date and the year in the following line. Press escape to exit type editing mode, click to the side of the page and then I'll pick up my zoom tool and get a good clear view of the lower half of the page here. I'm going to select the three bullet point headings that we've got lower down. I'll go back to InDesign, hover over the text frame, double left click and then select these three lines here, right click and choose paste. You might find this happens on a regular basis. Um, by picking up accidentally another forced line break inside of Microsoft Word when I copied the text, InDesign's now interpreting that as being a fourth bullet point. Well, the way to remedy that is just to hit the backspace key and remove it. In terms of the reporters, I've got them here and right click and choose copy. Go back to InDesign and if I select all three lines in here and then right click and choose paste, we get a different appearance. And that's because these are applied with three different styles. It's required because of the design, unfortunately. If I just show you quickly the style sheet, these are applied with first reporter name, middle reporter name, and then last reporter name. And that's mainly because the first reporter name has that three line appearance that's included with the paragraph style. And then we have to have one line on its own, which just has the text in red. And then the last reporter name has to have the same style of text, but it has to have a slight gap underneath it and then a line included with that paragraph style as well. And that's why it doesn't look correct at the moment. So let's head back to InDesign and correct it. So if I click on the top name in there, I can then go to the drop down menu for the paragraph styles and change that to first reporter name. Click in the second line down and change that to middle reporter name. And then from here again, well, that one is actually fine. The third line down, if I click in the line underneath that, again, it's picked up a forced line break from Microsoft Word, hit the backspace key and we're looking good now. And then in terms of the body copy, well, I'll come across here and then drag downwards. It does run onto a second page and I will just pick up uh, the, all of the body in there, right click and choose copy, click inside of here, click and hold down the mouse and drag down. Now this is split into multiple columns. If I drag now across right to the very bottom right hand side, it should select all the text in all four of those columns. Let go of the mouse, right click and then choose paste and we get a copy dropped in there. What you'll find is that the first paragraph needs to have a different style applied to it. So if I pick up the zoom tool, zoom into that region, go back in there. This time I'll pick up the, uh, the type tool just to click into that paragraph. I don't have to select all of that paragraph by swiping across it, but as long as my type tool is just flashing away in that first paragraph, it actually needs to have a style applied to it called 06 body. So the first one will have no indent, but the following paragraphs will have a slight indent to them. I'll hit the escape key, click away from the text frame. I'll keep the um, same magnification level, hold down the space bar and just pan along. And then we've got a caption in here. Select this text and apply that in here. And then copy the text again from Microsoft Word. Grab the pull quote. And then finally, again, you'll notice that it's maintained the bold style in there. So as long as I triple click in that last line, I can go to character styles and then just change that to italic. When I'm done, hit the escape key, go to view and choose fit page in window. And that completes the first Guardian front page.